All right, our objective for today, can write and graph a linear equation using slope and y-intercept? Let's read together. One, two, three. I can write and graph a linear equation using the slope and y-intercept. So our concept is still the same. That's why we're not going to need a fair model for the concept, but we are going to need a fair model for the form because I want to make sure that we understand what form we're looking at. So inside your fair model, in the center of the fair model, I want you to write this, slope. Intercept, intercept form, slope, intercept form. That goes in the center of your fair model, slope, intercept form. But we do understand what what concept we're still on. Is that correct? We're still in linear equations, okay? So today we're going to write and graph. And just to recap, uh, before we went to break, we graphed two different ways. The first way that I showed you guys using the table. Remember, remember that? We need to solve for y first make a table, the domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, remember that? Plot your points and graph your line. The second way, um, is V introduced the X and Y intercepts. You guys remember that? Yes, where you needed to solve for the X, solve for the Y, plot your two points and graph your line. So those are two methods of graphing. Today you're going to learn a third. Okay? Here we go. Look up, please. Slope intercept form. What is it? Slope intercept form is a special type of linear relationship that can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, here it is, m is the slope, and the plus b is the constant, also known as the y-intercept. So if you have your colored uh, pen, use those. Once again, slope intercept form, it, here's the definition, and here it tells you what each part is. m is the slope, and the plus b is the constant also known as the y-intercept. But what is the main thing that I want you to understand from all this written here? That slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Whenever I say slope-intercept form, you guys need to understand that it, I'm talking about what? y equals mx plus b. So if I ask you write down slope intercept form, what are you going to write? Y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So I'm telling everyone to know what slope intercept form is. Um, <coughs> examples, write these down. y equals x plus 1, y equals 3x minus 2, y equals negative 2x plus 3, y equals 3 fourths x minus 5. 5x plus 2 equals y, and y equals 4x. Copy those down. All right, so all these are in slope-intercept form. Now let me show you why. Okay, write any utensils down, please. Check this out. I'm going to take this second one, look up to the screen, this one, and I'm going to align it right above this one, and I'm going to show you why this is already in slope-intercept form. It's pretty obvious just by looking at it, right? And one of the things that you should notice is that they're both solved for what? Y. Also, what's aligned? The Y, the equals, and the X. So what is the only thing that we need to figure out? What the M is and what the B is. What is M according to our definition? It's what? slope, and what is the plus b? Our y-intercept. So if I was to ask you, and I would say, tell your neighbor what the slope is on this equation, tell your neighbor what it would be. 
okay? However, I said from now on, the slope, we're going to write it in fraction form, so it would be what? 3 over 1. 3 over 1. Because 3 over 1 is the same as 3, isn't it? Yes. What is our y-intercept? Negative 2. What is our slope? 3 over 1. What is our y-intercept? Negative 2. Everybody understand what we're looking at now? All right, so let's go to this first one right here. Look at this one. Our slope is 1 over 1. What is our y-intercept? 1. Look at this one right here. Our slope is what, everyone? Negative 2 over 1. What is our y-intercept? 3. How about this one? What is our slope? 3 fourths. Not y equals, what is our slope? 3 fourths. What is our y intercept? Negative 3. I mean, sorry, negative 5. Look at this one. What is our slope? 5 over 1. And what is our y intercept? 2. Okay, here goes this one. This one has a little curveball to it. Let's see. What is our slope? 4 over 1. What is our y intercept? That is correct, because we would write plus zero, because there's nothing there. Everyone understand? All these are slope-intercept forms. What do you guys also notice on all of them? They all have y equals. This is also a y form of an equation. That's what we've been practicing a lot. What have we been practicing? Solve for y. Now you understand why? Get it? Why? <laughs> None examples. Write these three down. This one, this one, and this one. As you're writing them down, start thinking, okay, if these are slope-intercept form, these are not because, keep it to yourself, please, don't say it out loud. If these are, why are these slope-intercept form? Okay, talk it over to your neighbor. Why are these not slope-intercept form, please? All right, let's see. Um, Kyleen, this first one, why is this not slope intercept form? It's not solved for y. Hands if you agree with that. Okay. However, who noticed this? That we have the x and the y on the same side. What form is that? Think about it. What form is when we have the x and the y on the same side? Tell your neighbor. What form is that? Bam. So, Mia, yes? Standard form. Write that down, please. This is standard form. Remember when we said identify x, ax plus by equals c. Identify a, a, b, and c. Remember that? Because we have the x and the y on the same side. All right. Look at these two, though. Why are those not slope-intercept form? Roman Aguirre. So, Roman's saying that the M is at the end. So, they're switched. So, they're not in order. So, if it's not slope-intercept form, what form is this called? What would you call it, Roman? Intercept slope, yeah? However, what is the form that we introduced some time back? Y form. Is it, are these already solved for Y? Yes. So for right now, just write Y form for these so that we know that they are Y forms, such as these over here, except for these are not in slope intercept form. So what would you write as a hashtag, a couple hashtags? What makes these slope intercept form? Yes, sir. Hashtag 
equals y. Okay. <laughs> they both, all of these have so. Jerry. Hashtag no standard form. And one more. Stephanie. Hashtag, well, are these Y form? They are Y form. The only thing now, these are called what? Slope intercept form. Roman. Hashtag no intercept slope form. Oh, I see. Not to have it backwards. Got it. All right. Steps. Write these down. It's only five steps. Step number one, we're going to still solve for y, if you notice, step one. But we're going to write in what? Slope in the step form. Step two, we're going to identify the y-intercept. Do we know how to do that? Yes. And then we're going to plot it, and I'll show you how to do that. Step three, identify the slope. Do we know how to identify the slope now? Yes. And then we're going to use that to plot points, and then our graphing our line for step four. Step five, everyone, is a different step. The first four is for graphing. These four is for graphing the line. This one is to write an equation. Write an equation in slope-intercept form. So it says, to write a slope-intercept form equation, write the form and substitute values given. So write those down, please. 40 seconds. So we got these steps, OK? So let's get started so you can see it in action. Here we go. Turn your paper over. In the back of your Cornell notes, you should have four uh, coordinate planes. Do you guys see those? On the top left, I want you to write example 1A. Example 1A on the top left of your Cornell notes. I mean, of the uh, coordinate plane. You're going to write example 1A, write an equation, and graph the line given the slope and y-intercept. Write those instructions, please, on the top left. And you're only going to write this these instructions this one time only. So like that we can just practice the rest of the way. It says example 1a, write an equation and graph the line given the slope and y-intercept, period. And what do they give us? The slope equals negative 2 over 5 and the y-intercept is 4. Slope equals negative 2 over 5 and the y-intercept is 4. Instructions again, write an equation and graph the line given the slope and y-intercept. So according to the objective today, we're going to do two things. We're going to write an equation and graph the equation. Okay? So I'm going to combine both of them in one, but I'm going to take it by steps. Okay? So writing utensils down, please. You'll finish copying right now. I'll give you time. But I want you guys to pay attention to this part because this is where I start losing some of you. Here we go. Ready? Here it goes. The first part, I'm going to show you how to write an equation given a slope and the y-intercept. So if they say, write an equation, and they give you this slope and the y-intercept, let me show you what to do. They want it in what? Slope, intercept. And we usually write it in what? Slope, intercept form. So when I say slope, intercept form, what are you thinking? Slope, intercept form is? y equals mx plus b. Right now you're just paying attention. What is my slope, everyone? Negative 2 over 5. What is my y-intercept? 4. So I bring everything else down. y equals x plus Four, and guess what? This is my slope intercept form. Copy that, please. Very simple, right? So what did I do? Let's see, when they're asking me to write an equation in slope intercept form using the slope and, and the intercept, I write my form first. This is one thing I do. And then I substitute values. There's two things to do. Write the form, substitute values. Is that pretty simple? Yes? Show me with your fingers how comfortable you are up to right there. One through five. One being the lowest, five being the highest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five, fours, five, fours. Okay. 
from two, five, four, seven, four. Okay. So we're done up to right there. So we already wrote our equations, but look at the next part. Writing utensils down, pay attention. They're asking me to graph the line. So pay, pay attention to this part. I'm going to lose some of you. Here we go. One thing I know for sure is this, what y-intercept means. What does y-intercept mean is where my graph crosses the what? The y-axis. So here's my y-axis. Where is it going to cross? At what? At 4. Let me see. Here's the y. It's going to cross at 4, which is right there. So can you picture it crossing at that point? Yes. However, to put some points on the, on the graph here, I need to use my slope. So check this out. To get from this point to the next point, I'm going to use my slope. What is the right? Negative 2. That means I'm going to go down two steps. And how many to the right? 5. So what? So from here I go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I plot my point. Let me do it again from here. What is my slope again? Negative 2, 1, 2. How many to the right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once you have at least three points, get your straight edge or your index card and you graph your line. Copy that, please. So I did two different things on this example. The first one, I wrote an equation. What did I do to write an equation? I wrote my slope-intercept form. There it is. And then I substituted the values. From there, they asked me to graph the line. What did I do first? I plotted my y-intercept. What was my y-intercept? Everyone? What was my y-intercept? Four. That's why I plotted this one. From there, what is my slope? Negative 2 over 5. That means I went two steps down, 5 to the right, plot my point, did it again. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plot my point. Slope. What is negative divided by a negative? Yes, we never go to the left. We always go to the right, right? All right, go to the next graph paper, to the one to your right. Bam, see what I did there? Copy this, example 1B. You don't have to copy the instructions anymore. Just copy slope equals 4, y-intercept equals negative 6. Let's do this one together. Here we go. You wrote example 1B, slope equals 4, y-intercept equals negative 6. All right, we need to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So what is slope-intercept form, everyone? Y equals mx plus b. That's the first thing you do. Okay, so I'm going to put a little 1 there so I can remember that's the first thing I do. What is the second thing I do? I substitute values. What is my slope? 4. 4. So instead of m, I'm going to write what? 4, but we know it's in fraction form, so it's 4 over 1. Okay. What is my y-intercept? Negative 6. All right. Now that I have that, I bring everything else down. The y, the equal, the x, the plus. And now this is my slope-intercept form. Another way of writing this would be like this. y equals 4 over 1x minus 6. Are we done writing our equation? Yes. We're done writing our equation, aren't we? Now let's graph it. Because the first part was to write it. Now we're going to graph it. Let's see. Where do we start? At our y-intercept, which is negative 6. So look for it on the y-axis. Negative 6 is down here. Plot your point. There it is. What is our slope? 4 and 1 to the right. The rise is 4 and the run is 1. So we go 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 to the right, plot your point, do it again from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 to the right, plot your point, do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 to the right, plot your point, graph your line. Now 
that's it. Now let's see, hopefully you caught this. Look up, please. Look at the previous example. It was negative 2 fifths. Look at this slope. In what direction is that line going? It's going down, isn't it? That's why it's, it's representing the negative slope. Look at this one. Isn't this a positive slope? And where is it going from left to right? It's going up. Does that make sense? All right. Do this next one by yourself. Example 1C. Let's see how you do. Slope is 2. Y-intercept equals negative 3. Do that one by yourself. Copy that and go. Okay, here goes the process again. You wrote first y equals mx plus b. Yes? Next, we find out what is m. It's 2, but we write it as 2 over 1. Is that correct? What is uh, b? b is negative 3. So our equation is y equals 2 over 1x plus negative 3, or y equals 2 over 1x minus 3. Hands if you got that. Okay, good. To graph that, we start at what? Negative 3 of y, which is right there. What is my slope? Our rise is 2 up and 1 to the right. We go 1, 2, 1 to the right. Plot your point. Do it again. 1, 2, 1 to the right. Plot your point. Do it again. 1, 2, 1 to the right. Plot your point. Do it again. 1, 2, 1 to the right. Plot your point. Graph your line. Nice and straight like mine. Damn. And if you got that. Show me your fingers how comfortable you are with these. One being the lowest, five being the highest. If you're not, I, you got the majority. All right. So that's pretty much how to write an equation and graph your line. Okay. Now, what if they gave you this one? Turn your paper over to the Q site. On the Q column. You guys see the Q column? Yes? All right. I want you to write example 2A. And I want you to write slope 1 fourth and y intercept 4. I only want you to write an equation in slope intercept form. I'll give you a head start. Ready? Go. 30 seconds. They're like, I'm lost in the We just did that right now. The only thing I took off the graph that should be there, right? So what do we do? First things first, y equals mx plus b. What is m, everyone? One, four. What is b? Four. My equation is y equals one fourth x plus four. Hands if you got that. Okay, so now we, we understand how to do this without the graphing, right? But what if they did this? I want you to put a little comma here, or let's put a semicolon, semicolon, without graphing, check to see if 0, 2 is on the line. So now we, now we have an equation, look up, we have an equation, and we have a point. Without graphing, how can we check if this point is on the graph or the line of this equation? Talk it over to your neighbor. How can we check without graphing to see if this is on that line? I heard some of you say uh, you substitute the x and y. Yes? Who saw that this point has an x value and a y value? Who sees that we have an x and a y here? So what do we do? Substitute that in here and let's check. Let's see. So for y, this becomes 2. x, this becomes 0. I bring everything else down. The equal, the 1 4, the plus 4. 2 equals, what is 1 fourth times 0? Zero? 0 plus 4. What is 0 plus 4? 
is 2 equal to 4? No, this is false. If it's not true, then this is not on the line. Remember we did something like this some time back? But now it's all coming together. Now it's making sense because it's part of the graph that we're working on. Okay? So for home play tonight, home play, you're only doing pages 184 through 185 only. There is tutoring today. If I don't see you guys, have a good one. Enjoy your home play. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.